Good morning, Covidians. Good morning, comrades. And good morning for everyone demonstrating and standing up and protesting in favour of our civil and human rights. First question, though. Did he say it or not? Well, he, you can guess who I mean. Did he say it or not? Here is Here he is with them. His friends from the BBC, and um, like something out of the killing fields in the background on that meme, did he say it or not? I believe he said it. A lot of independent witnesses heard him say it. They're prepared to swear on oath that he said it. Let the bodies pile up. He may have included an expletive, but uh, for the sake of uh, decency, I'll just call it the F word, included or not, but I believe he said it. The bodies piling up. I know people whose children, husbands, Partners have died of COVID. My son, who works in ICU, has witnessed the devastation of the emotional impact of their death on those who can't hold them, can't be with them, can't wish them a proper goodbye. Not just he has witnessed that. Thousands of us have witnessed that. They're not just the dead piling up, Boris. We love them. It's like, you know, we take the objective, no matter how many the dead. They took it on the chin. Yeah, they did, Boris. And we tried to help them. And now they're gone. Their lives are over. So, did he say it? Well, um, I believe that he did. Talik, my friend Talit Malik, I believe he said it. Witnesses claim bodies, uh, witnesses to Boris Johnson's body's claim, willing to give evidence, Talit says, under oath. Willing to give evidence under oath. Tommy Corbyn speaking. Just read it, or, and then I'll just go through it. Cheers, Tommy. Your, man, your husband, and your husband, what am I saying? Your father, Tommy, is a good man. I treasure the signature in my dog-eared copy of ragged ragged trousered philanthropists I got from your father standing in Market Square Great Yarmouth when he didn't turn up with security goons no no security goons just a perfectly ordinary everyday car not even a latest registration plate one no armed minders no bulletproof vests just turned up. Unlike Sakia, who now says, by the way, that boycotting Palestinian dates grown, or rather Israeli dates, I should say, Israeli dates grown on seized Palestinian land, Sakia and the Labour Party have now declared that that is, that is anti-Semitism. Thank you, Sakir. But I'm not really going on about that. I'm going on about what this man said. And how little he cares. And how inhuman that is. Even Preston confirms Johnson did make bodies pile high comment. I think even Sakir has taken him to task about that one. This man is our prime 
minister? Surely he should just resign. Here we have um, from my friend Darren Michael Carver. Many people will lose loved ones. Boris Johnson speaking uh, in the UK. Take it on the chin. Herd immunity. Um, Jacinda, Jacinda Ahern in New Zealand said, I will not tolerate tens of thousands of New Zealanders dying to gain herd immunity before a vaccine. Yeah, Johnson would, because in all honesty, what are ordinary people to him? Ordinary people who, it says here, speaking for Johnson, my, le my reckless decisions are destroying this country. I blame the gullible who voted for me. Well, I don't think he'd actually say that, but you were warned so many times of what would happen. You were warned and warned and warned. But I don't know. Perhaps you just wanted to get Brexit done. Perhaps you didn't like your Romanian labour neighbour rather down the road. Perhaps you didn't like the little Portuguese food takeaway set up in the market. There is one actually in the market in Great Yarmouth. As I say, my son speaks fluent Portuguese and uh, there is a Portuguese strain in my own family. But perhaps you didn't like those Portuguese people. Perhaps when you heard them talking in Portuguese, which my son speaks English, obviously, and I speak some German, but perhaps you didn't like that. So perhaps you voted Conservative so that they'd all go back to Portugal and they'd take the Romanians, who probably you didn't like, with them. And Britannia could be great again and you could hear English spoken in English shops, in English streets. Well, he had a year or so locked down, so didn't really get here very much of that yet. So I'm going to get fairly close to the conclusion of what I'm saying today. Yes, I am glad that we are opening up again. I've had my second vaccine now. But what I still see, rampant cronyism, this apparent war that is now going to break out between Dominic Cummings and Boris Johnson. I see more examples of Tory brutality. The war on the sick and the disabled goes on. The hostile environment for anybody who might be thinking of coming over here, even to work and provide their services and to live in our country and to pay taxes and to pay into the NHS, yeah? Anyone thinking of doing that? Yeah, well, they might speak a different language. Goodness knows, they might even be a different colour. And as you're flying your Union Jack, some of you, you might not like people speaking different languages and in different colour and being different colours. You might not like that. You might be the sort of person who, when you go on holiday to France, will say, expects to be able to find warm beer and fish and chips everywhere and sing and be accompanied in English there'll always be an England and, and gets very, very offended when no matter how loud you shout in French shops, European shops, German shops, Portuguese shops, when no matter how loud you shout in English and how irritated you get that these people can't understand English. It's the most popularly spoken language in the world, you will say, but they can't understand you. Yeah, well, perhaps you're the kind of person who voted for Brexit and is now enjoying all the chaos you were warned it would bring. Keep fighting back, 
comrades, keep fighting back on those dates from uh, uh, Israeli-occupied Palestinian territory. See where they were grown, Gaza and places like that, and boycott them. I don't eat dates, but if you do, that's a date you can avoid. You can afford not to make your own. Bye.